my bad. I've been totally slipping up on that one. It is, I'm not sure what time it is, probably 8.30, quarter to 9. We left at 8. Uh, Sean and I again, and we are headed to PA. Don't know the exact name of the city, H-Y-N-D-N, something like that, I don't know. But it's uh, four hours, roughly four hours. We should get there just before noon or right around noon or a little after noon. We got eight fish to pick up, one of them being a, what is it, John? Pure Eva. Okay, and Josh uh, really likes that. You know, that's one of the man-eating catfish. <clears throat> so we're gonna pick that up along with uh, six or seven others. We got the 300 behind us, we got our pump, we got everything we need, our nets, so we will go for that. And, uh, you know, should be fairly easy and get our butts back to OFR, and then we're going to run to Michigan tomorrow. I'll tell you guys more about that one uh, a little later on. All right, everybody. Me and John are 158, uh, County Lane, and PA, and we're, we are out in nowhere land. <laughs> But, uh, all right, this is the address. We're going to go knock and check it out. Well, I'll try calling again. Nobody answered 30 minutes out, but I'll try calling again. And uh, we'll see what we can do. And there's <laughs> some kind of a leopard thing or two leopard things in that, that um, in the white tube. There? Yeah, right. you can see their tails if you look over here. There's Looks like raffiatis. Or are they rips off? <laughs> Yeah, Raphael. Right. Okay. Nice peacock. Mm -hmm. Okay. And let's see. There's a window here. Is... Oh, a sliding glass door. Oh, that, that goes out that porch? Yeah. And with this drive. So we can come up this drive then? Uh huh. Yeah. Dude, we can come right. You see this? Look here. We can come right up the drive. We can put the pump, fill up our 300. Pick them up. This will be very easy. I'm sorry, your name? Teresa. Teresa, and you're Levi's, Levi's mom. mom. Okay. All right. And they got some dogs, as you guys can hear. But they're friendly, and now they're not barking so much now that they get to know us a little bit. But, yeah, that's what we'll do. We're way on the other side. But, yeah, we'll go ahead, and we'll pull in the drive, and we'll be able to do this very easy. Get these guys out of here for them then. All right, stay tuned, everybody. All right, John's already got some of the stuff up. We'll go ahead and get this set up. We've got to move a few things around. All right, we got the tub opened up. That's good. I'll get the hose in there. Get it turned on. Big uh, power, power thing back here if you can reach that. Thank you. Okay. John's got that going. There she blows. Okay. It'll take like 10-15 uh, minutes and then we'll get the fish in here. Shipped here and they cost like a couple hundred dollars. And then they come up missing in the tank. We don't know what ever happened to them. <laughs> but really? He buys, he buys these fish and keeps them and then he gives them away. Really? <laughs> <laughs> so he's gonna buy more fish and do it again then? Probably. Really? <laughs> The grow out phase. Yeah, that's a lot of people like to do that. Get the nice fish and grow them out, and then you know. <laughs> so some people do do that. All right. <laughs> yeah, slowly but surely getting it filled. Okay. I guess at least he doesn't do drugs or something like that. So hey, right. true. I'll let I'll let him buy fish. Absolutely. <laughs> That's what we like to hear. And John's going to shut the filtering system down so we don't mess those up. Because we're stealing the water and getting ready to take the fish. 
We just need about uh, four more inches or so inside the tub, and then we can start scooping. Okay. Hi, Buster. What you doing, buddy? See? Yeah, you're better now. Okay. I'll get some of the uh, stones. We'll get the air going, and then by the time we get that done, we should just about have enough. Oh, we definitely do. We'll have enough that John can start scooping them out. Okay. All right, we started up the van, and we got some air stones going, and uh, we got enough on this side, but it's so off balance. There's only like four or five inches over there, and. Uh, he doesn't need any, he's not putting, we're taking it all, so we'll fill it up a little bit. We'll get at least halfway on the side. Alright. Getting it ready. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go, that should work the best for you. Ready to start grabbing them? Mm hmm. because it's a circle. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if the other one's got a thing on it. I'll check. Yeah, I got the peacock. But yeah, I mean, don't have a square one, so. There you go. Red Devil? The uh, parrot. The parrot. Now, are parrots the same thing as the Red Devil? Um, I or, don't think so. Or they're different? I don't know what fish they coordinate Red Devil with. Okay. I think a mite is. Yeah, see if you can get that mite is. Oh, oh, oh. Well, you got the pleco. Just went right into it. <laughs> <laughs> That was awesome. <laughs> Good size pleco. Yep. Uh, that cat up here. Yeah. Ooh. You know what? Probably. Thank you. Deeper, so it'll definitely be easier. Straight up. Got him. Much easier. Yeah. Uh, 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 Got the uh, Midas. Okay. <laughs> okay, now before you get the parabino, you want to try and get the other two out of the... Yeah. Just grab the whole thing, or... Yeah. And it's easy this way. Alright, two for the price of one. Two Raphaels. Two Raphaels, just like I thought. Yep. Okay. You can hear them croaking. What's that? You hear them croaking. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, now the Paraiba. Paraiba. All right, you, want, you want to take that out of there. You can take the thing out in the hose too before you do anything, make it easier. This? Yeah, take that out and take out that. You want to plug it from back there? Yeah, hold on. I think she's talking to Levi. That was him. That was him? I'm a little busy right now. Uh, okay, last one. There's the same corner. He's the one we gotta be careful of. Wow. He's 
He's quick. Oh yeah, very. They live in fast flowing rivers. You want me to get the other net in there too? Might. He jumped right over top of it. Hey, oh. Got, got him. him. Got him. Okay. He's the one we're most worried about. He can get stressed out. Yeah, looks pretty good in there. Look at the streamers on them. Beautiful. Okay, so uh, we just got to get everything rolled up and be on our way. Okay, well you can, if you want, you can take it off the handle and just drop it down there. Yeah. Instead of having it hit us. <laughs> it's, you know, just take it off the thing. Drop it right there where the Okay. Alright. Well, that was easy. Wasn't hard at all. Nice. And we got air on them and everybody's good to go. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. And too bad we couldn't meet Levi, but he ended up working. She did talk to him for a second, but he's busy. But thank you very much. Thank we you. appreciate everything. And tell him uh, if he ever needs our assistance again. Okay. You give know, a give call. us a call. Okay. <laughs> we know you. where we are now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You have a great day. Me too. Okay. And we got the fish in there. And Teresa was a very nice lady. Levi worked. He called, like we said, but he couldn't really talk to us. But we are up in the mountains. You can see where uh, there's still some up there, but we're up there quite a bit. Uh, so we're gonna head on back. And we got like almost four hours to get back. It shows that we should get back roughly around 4.15 this evening. Okay. All right, it's 4.40 in the afternoon. And we just made it back. And just as I was pulling in, I <laughs> A little bit of water. Alright. Everybody looks good. We're gonna get a tub. We're gonna bring a big tub up here along with the uh you know that cart we got and transfer some water into that and then get these guys down into uh the room. Alright. So Josh and some of the uh uh Community service guys have been doing some things and they got some of the stuff moved and sold and they got this put up. How many fish they got here, I'm not sure, but they're going to get them ready for tomorrow so we can take them to uh, Brian Barczyk. These are all the protozoa from that rescue the other day. And there's the three little clownfish in the back. You can see them all sticking together. And there's Iris, he's there. And there's one of the squirrel, the struck the squirrel. What? Oh, there it is. It, he pops in and out. But at least he comes around. The eel was out like heck the other day. And I should have came in and videoed him like Jerry said, but I missed him. But I know he's in here. We'll get a picture of him soon. Okay. All right, everybody, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, <laughs> it's so hard to keep up with everything. We've had like four or five rescues here. Uh, it's past midnight on Wednesday. Tomorrow's Thursday. Uh, going back to Michigan. We did get the 375. That's in another video. But I couldn't quite get everything else. And uh, going back up for that tomorrow. So uh, uh, it, it's been some. It's been an awesome week of uh, you know. Uh, some rescues and everything but uh, yeah getting tired and time to go to bed and call this a night so again hope you enjoyed it uh, stay fishy um, hit that like subscribe and share and we'll go deeper with the reaper